grow your coaching business and today we're gonna speak about a topic that is really really uh, important and uh, could be a great contribution for every single one of you today i have a special guest her name is edita so please edita can you introduce yourself tell them what you do and why are you here today hello welcome welcome wherever you are at the moment so my name is Edita Lesiewicz. I'm the separation coach. And what I do, I um, support people during separation process, taking them from the moment they decide my decision uh, to the moment where they finishing relationship or they decide to create new relationship, maybe with the same partner or with a new partner. So that's what I do. Excellent. And um, one question, why would you like to, to, um, to decide to help people Mm -hmm. in how to get through this uh, painful uh, process and uh, it requires a lot of work a lot of training on your behalf a lot of expertise so tell us a little bit more why you decided this path to actually make your life purpose uh, help uh, as much people as you can have, um, through this process can you please share it with uh, yeah, us yeah definitely definitely very good question thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, well, that's, that's my, um, definitely like, this is my journey. Okay. So, um, I decided like basically going through the process. Okay. I've been in the same relationship 18 years. Okay. 11 years married. I've got two beautiful daughters and, um, I think that was like process of like four years, you know, four years. I've been doing a lot of self-development um around myself and actually last two years i got like really discover rediscover myself and i went into very a lot of spirituality so i've been coached by so many people and then i discovered that i was really inauthentic inauthentic actually who i want to be as a woman and what how my relationship and actually in that moment when my my relationship was not working nothing was working like money was not working myself like feeling as a woman uh, being the mama would like to be and in that moment i decided you know time to change and i went into spiritual way as i already said um and yeah then recently like telling sharing people for last one year how i'm dealing with my kids with my ex with myself everybody said i did i should be doing this um uh as a profession as a profession so... i have to say that you look amazing yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely it's working for you yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah harry knows me yeah, how, know for, how, for how many years Four yeah years? yes <laughs> so yeah and i was like sort of uh journey like why not share with others if you've got recipe how to do that um how to actually go process of self-discovery and actually you know i will be sharing all that process so yeah, yeah. today we went to be <laughs> today stay with us because today we're going to reveal the five steps to create a new life after divorce but before we get into this i uh i want to ask you a question because uh, it takes a lot of courage a lot of um power a lot of uh being responsible for two kids and, and have the new life ahead to take the decision so what would be your message to the people right now the women that are right now in a relationship mm -hmm. that things are not working that they are not fulfilling in any way but still they they haven't taken this major step in their life than um Mm -hmm. that realize that they deserve better and 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 there is time for change yeah that's 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 a big topic how much time <laughs> do we have <laughs> you have all the time in the world for this <laughs> so what would be your your message to them because it's, it's mm. a little bit uh, so first of all will be like be genuine to yourself and um generous and have compassion because whatever you are in is like we all in it like you know this is not conversation marriage conversation how the marriage should look like it's an heritage con inherited conversation it's like generation and generation were living in the same uh, model which worked or didn't work for many people and we just cast them to be in that so be with yourself um allow the emotions to come in uh, trigger all the emotion if it's needed and um, 
well, the best is to, to surround yourself with people who went through divorce or separation, or let just look for yourself as a woman. It's, it's a process. It needs to, I would say, find a coach, find some, do some work on yourself to discover yourself as a woman, because first you are a woman, then you are a mother, and then you are a wife. Or you may say, first you are a woman, then you are a mother, uh, sorry, wife, and then a mother. So first you are a woman so find yourself first so let's talk about you know i uh, we recently six uh, i think six or six months ago we we met john gray the <clears throat> the author of um men's are from mars and women's are from venus it? yeah yeah oh, wow. he has sold 50 million books right he was talking with me and lily my partner and was telling us <laughs> he told me harry listen to me i know what i'm talking about yeah i, I sold 50 million books yeah so <laughs> <laughs> was telling, he was uh, telling me yeah. he was telling was sharing with us that um that in the relationship um women and men they, that we're different and um and there is something uh, uh fundamental about this that i think we should share with you today number one is that um men and women they they looking for different things in the relationship right mm. so what man is looking for is significance yes meaning so we need this significance all the time from 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 our partner right for example here in my house right in my house uh, i only i only do two things yeah i throw the rubbish uh, <laughs> seriously and uh, what's the other thing i buy the food okay right and then lily my partner do the rest including you know Washing up, the ironing, I manage the, the person that comes helping us here at home. And so she has a lot of tasks, right? And uh, But anyway, the whole point is every time that I throw the rubbish, yes, I go to Lily, to my partner. You see, I did the rubbish, yeah? <laughs> I did the rubbish. Can you see? So what I'm looking, I'm looking for that significance that she tell me, oh, wow. I couldn't live without you. You are so important. Thank you so much. You did the rubbish. So I'm pulling out of her. Look, I did the rubbish. Until she doesn't tell me that I'm amazing. And without me, you know, until she doesn't give me that significance, right? Uh, I'm, I can't even get angry. You know, like, really? I did it. Were well, you going to clap? You're going to do something, right? Same when I buy the food. Look, I bought the food. Look. How many things and sometimes this true story yeah mm -hmm. sometimes my partner said to me oh my god harry they saw with the same problem right <laughs> same issue is that i buy too much food yeah i do it because i don't have time to be every time <laughs> supermarket right mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why i buy so much because <laughs> don't come back in the next week but for her point of view it's like too much food and too much of things right mm -hmm. and again when i'm coming back from the supermarket i'm looking for this significance right Like, wow, you bought the food. I know what I get. What is it? Oh, you buying too much this. What do you buy so much food? So this is start to create friction, right? So I realized that the younger I spoke with us. On the other hand, women are looking for safety, right? Mm -hmm. So meaning that they in order for the women to, to stay positive, to, 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 to go ahead with the relationship, they need to feel safe, right? And this safe is not only financially people think that could be financially but could be safe like actually um like you feel that your partner is not gonna be with somebody else mm -hmm. you have that partner you have that trust that you say you know this person i would cheat them it's a, this is another type of safe safety net that women look in the relationship mm -hmm. as well as obviously the finance right now at the moment that um both ways the women doesn't find this safety mm -hmm. but the man doesn't get the significance because that's it works in both ways yeah, women doesn't get the safety net but the man not getting the significance then the relationship uh, uh, is, is it will start to to fall down that that was being told by me by John Gray personally looking to my eyes and with the 50 million books <laughs> sold talking about the subject so Here, here's my question to you. In terms of that, Edita, mm -hmm. so if the women, right? Mm -hmm. um, she can feel safe financially, mm -hmm. right? But uh, maybe um, uh, things are not, um, it's, it's not 100% complete. Oh, 
or how about a women that that right this safety is going to disappear because they never work before they looking after the kids all the life they don't have any skills and now things are not working for that person so how you approach that and um, mm -hmm. what's your view on all this uh i've got yeah that was great uh, that was actually a very good explanation i've got another explanation to that which go, actually, go for it. Go that for it. actually um goes with that one um but yeah that's that's a very good one um so what was the question the question is we're talking about like for example you took the steps to say you know what no matter what um the mom is responsible for two kids but my relationship is not working so i'm i'm going for the divorce i'm going to I, it has been for so many years but it's not working anymore for me mm -hmm. so this take courage they uh bravery open a new possibility but also this level of safe net of safety that you have before yeah. Because you have a partner, it could be financially, it could be with the See, kids. Yeah. You you now don't have that, which is key for you to keep the relationship in the in the first place. So how how you overcome that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. And where so, do you get the power to overcome that? Uh, well, yes, that's <laughs> why it's working on first on yourself. Okay, so okay with the safety, I discover okay, which actually with the five steps I'm gonna be, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that again. I never was looking for safety. No? No, and I was so cautious. <laughs> but okay, I was I wanted as a woman, yes. But in the same time, what I created between being one and seven, but it's very important period of time for every child. We're creating how the love looks like. Okay? And listen because it's good for you as well. <laughs> I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening to your right here. So it's like this period of time we're co uh, subconsciously creating what love means to us. It's not what we see, it's what we f how we feel. So, for example, I just couldn't figure out what's, what's with my dad relationship was because I don't remember my dad when I was one to seven. I've got great dads, okay? He was like fun, always supporting me as a woman, you know. That's why I became engineer, you know, supporting in all areas of my life. And he was fun. Like we had fun drawing and all of that. Between one and seven, I don't remember. And I believe he was studying a lot uh, at that time. So he was around, but he was not present. So what I create for myself, I don't have men next to me. Okay. I don't have attention. With security as well, there was some incident that happened in my house. I'm not going to go to the details, but I didn't feel my dad was around me. Okay. And there was no security. And guess what? I was looking for men with, well, I found men, <laughs> with not stable income, uh. for example. So there was no security, and that's what I created. Then I went into even more. I started creating, uh, you know, my own businesses without, like, stable income. And that was my model, which was not working for me, but I associate with love. And there you go. Yeah. I get it. So there was no stability. There was no stability, but I was attached to that no stability. Uh, there was uh, no attention on me because I was attached to no, not attention. I would be looking subconsciously man who doesn't have, doesn't pay attention. Because this is how love was looked. Yeah. Do you? Because yeah. of the looking back yeah. since childhood. I don't remember my dad. I don't pay much attention to what my mom was doing around the house, like not giving her support, acknowledgement, like you're saying. That's also, also woman and man needs that acknowledgement. That was not present. And guess what? I was not receiving acknowledgement. But there's an even bigger twist that I was not receiving from my own masculine energy. Hmm. I was not allowing myself to feel secure okay so if i'm not allowing myself my masculine energy that's why i always saying we've got both masculine energy to feel secure for feminine energy i'm not going to be even looking this elsewhere so that's why i'm saying like we're saying this is very important for creating new life that's our to really complete to really see what was not working for us what we're creating when we are a child and that's a crucial. So you may even, you know, looking for acknowledgement as a man, yeah. but if you didn't receive, yeah, no. if you didn't have that at home, you yeah. would not even look now for that. Even you required as a man, absolutely, I agree. Yeah. A man should be acknowledged for any small thing, even picking up yeah. socks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, big time! I'm telling you for experience. <laughs> if you are in a relationship and you're not, like, you are not acknowledging your man. Oh my God! Yeah, he will do. 
crazy things to do yes. that knowledge me from you. Yes, yeah, I agree. crazy I agree. things. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now here's the thing. So in your view, um, you're obviously an expert in the subject. Yes. Um, in order to find this, this the, the empowerment to to go through the process of divorce or separation, the first uh, step yes. is look into yes. yourself, right? Yes. And so sorry because yes. I didn't. I think I answered the question at okay. the end. So yes. So first look for yourself because what I discover, more I discover, I actually want the security. Hmm. What I understood that I can discreate within the separation and divorce process. Yeah, because now what happens is actually my ex to be incomes almost stable. He pro providing more to the house to provide more for the kids, and what I also do, I'm like already structuring the future with him, like saying, okay, how that's gonna look like? Where my house gonna be? Where your house gonna be? How that finance is gonna be divided? So either you're gonna go into construction mode. And you just ruin your future and your partner, or you decided we're still building together because we've got kids. Exactly. And now, how are we gonna create that so we're both happy? Exactly. Okay? That's how we create our um, uh, stability, our security as a woman. And then, and, and then we create a win-win situation. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> so now let's get into it. And in your opinion, Edita, what would be the five steps to create a new life? after divorce yeah yeah so i'm gonna look at my phone now <laughs> so she's gonna look in this in her phone because she wants to give you the perfect answer and <laughs> yes yes well yeah I, I just divide it i just divide it because it depends on what stage you are but definitely like first one is looking i just really like how i describe it childhood love story acknowledgement so first step just acknowledging what the story created so as i told you like between one and seven we're creating this story like how our love life should look like because how we feel that's what we will be looking for it may be we read so many stories like love stories it doesn't matter that, that's not what we're looking for so maybe maybe looking into this yeah maybe i think that i like this acknowledgement that much now thinking in your experience <laughs> i remember when i was a kid yeah uh, my parents, they are, uh, I mean, I was the first child, right? So basically, every time that I was doing, they were like, wow, the kid is amazing, right? It was nothing. Oh, there you go. There so you go. Uh, I think that uh, this may be the reason why I become an entrepreneur, right? So to, to have this, um, this, this significance, this wow for, for parents, right? Basically, Every time that I was doing, I mean, if, 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 if when I started to walk, there was a big deal. Like, remember, like, wow, amazing, well done. And then same when I speak, well done. So uh, all my life, right, the, I'm from childhood, I'm associating love with acknowledgement, acknowledgement right? Yeah. And there you go. That's why the acknowledgement is important for me in the relationship. So I agree 100% uh, uh, with you that... Um, in order to get that process right, our relationship, yeah. the um, the um, the the issue is that um, how you perceive love is has to do uh, from your childhood how um, you make it mean from from your parents, right? And yeah. the brain is a very interesting thing; it works like a machine, oh, crazy, yeah, definitely, definitely. and you start to work like that. How? Let me we ask you want, one more want. question. One more question about that. How about the case of children that they have been beaten off badly um, mm -hmm. uh, because of that, and they have been told you're not good enough, you 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 uh, you're stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, what would be the association with love? For yeah, that? so that's gonna yeah, that's they're gonna be looking for um, aggression from the partner, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, and that's how they're gonna be looking. That's that's we know so many stories where you know. But this can bring a very destructive relationship. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But they will be looking for that, even though it does not work for them. And there's obviously ways to. So yeah, first step is just to acknowledge. Okay, acknowledge how we create that story. By acknowledgement, I also mean like make a peace with that. Okay, that's how we create it. We didn't know about that. We were just a child. 
we absorb that like you said brain just took it as a granted and it just doesn't work that doesn't have to be this way right obviously yeah. and now so now we're going to second step okay second step <laughs> wait, Anelita is running running here she <laughs> wants she wants to do the fire step quickly yeah, so, and get out of here so yeah, too many lights she doesn't <laughs> want to be here nah you're joking so second step second step of the five yes, steps to create yes, a new life yes. after divorce is so it's a taking responsibility 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 for what for so actually you know that that's how i chose my partner okay so, so responsibility for that's how i created so i'm acknowledged like so it's not your first. it's not it's not your partner fault it's your responsibility yeah, because okay. you choose it right yeah yeah, yeah. It's simple, like once uh, you, you see, take responsibility. That's very good for me, yeah. <laughs> when when Lily is telling me, when Lily is telling me I'm driving her crazy, I'm gonna say, "Look, Edita said you choose me, so it's your fault." <laughs> uh, no, 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 <laughs> that's no. gonna work very good you for see, me from no, now on. No, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, when... yeah, exactly <laughs> what you say. You choose me, <laughs> so exactly. don't blame me. <laughs> yeah, and you're choosing every day. Every day you're choosing Lily. Uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like day by day, so you're taking responsibility. You that's choose funny. Yeah. Okay, so, but now uh, I think that the principle is, is very important because um, this can change the life of people. Yeah. And we need to start about accepting our responsibility. Yeah. And maybe it was not our fault. We didn't even know how exactly. love looked like. And, and we choose what we believe that was the best for us, based on what yeah. we make it work it's not yeah. also the fault of the other person either exactly. exactly we choose what we didn't want because this is what we believe and uh so so even i'm fair with the other person but this is how humans how how we work yeah. how our mind works right so uh, and that's like the biggest one honestly taking responsibility for the relation for everything what works what doesn't work if you start to blame the other person you're never mm -hmm. gonna be healing yourself right no no you it's know? just like the, i think know? they're getting out of something out of there a lot of copies the the Lord, they're always <laughs> complaining about the other one. No, this is for for this, this for for that, mm -hmm. this is for for this, and I think they're getting significant about complaining about the other one, right? Yeah, Without taking yeah. the responsibility, yeah, yeah. you really want to yeah. to solve the problem. Yeah, yeah, you and you know, start from you, yourself. Yeah, it's a big step, but uh, but it's a self discovery and uh, and uh, yeah, it's just like you know, if we don't take responsibility, we are the victim of our life. Okay, and we just don't want to be a victim. Why would you like to be a victim? You, you want to know that you're actually in charge of your life. In so only one life that we have, right? Yeah, and and you know, if you don't see really that the past, like I said, one first point, and you don't see, then take claim it as like, hey, yeah, I created this. I created that I felt lonely. Mm -hmm. If you don't take this, that that's how you created your partner or you chosen your partner. Sometimes you know your partner is completely different. Yeah, I've seen couples who like partner was calm and within the marriage he became aggressive and there guess what there was something an incident in her childhood when somebody was aggressive exactly and that was it's actually when she was seven years old and like okay that's how he became aggressive mm -hmm. because if you feel like a victim somebody's gonna hit me somebody's gonna hit me you know that's what he started doing exactly and then the um, uh, going that so what would be the next step or the fifth step to create a new life after divorce? So yeah, third one is self-love. Can you explain what it means? Uh, self-love, yeah, everybody self -love. Like, what it means, self-love. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people, <laughs> some people even tell me, I'm a self-love coach. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, I can, I can now be self-love as well, coach. You are self-love? Yes, okay, yes. you can tell me what is it, because I still like, don't get it, what is it? <laughs> Okay, so I can tell you more like what it is for a woman, but for you as a man, <laughs> acknowledge yourself. It's like really, oh, okay, yeah, okay. that's oh, okay. one way. Okay, so okay. everything what we uh, what we desire truly, like so whatever, like okay, so I was the the, the best way explaining is I didn't I don't remember that, so I was I was lonely. Okay, and I create I feel lonely. So now how I want to create, why my masculine energy does not allow me to feel secure, be adorable, and cherish myself, and love myself, spend time, valuable time with myself. Mm. And it's like, wow, I never done 
this. <laughs> I've never done this with myself. Like women think that actually doing my hair, doing my makeup is like our responsibility to look good. It's not. It's our responsibility towards ourselves. We cherish our body. We cherish our mind. But like body, I didn't allow myself. I was engineer. Do you understand that? I didn't allow. I, I always wanted to look. Uh, be intelligent more than good looking mm -hmm. like physically if yeah. somebody told me oh you you pretty guy i was like i'm intelligent <laughs> i have the best grades in school in maths i would be <laughs> always like that i would be engineer because somebody said you know as a woman you can't you work as an architect so that moment i decided yeah i'm gonna be on that building side and i was on the building side i was working with the builders i was one of the one who like would uh -huh. tell you any details i would know all the plans and i would tell you why it's like this the building standing and i did not allow myself to be a woman and the time yeah so that's self-love so self-love is spending time with yourself you choose yourself uh, obviously looking around your minds telling yourself if you need to say to yourself i love you i love you i love you write down a love letter to yourself um just see you know what was not working between your parents and like okay it's, it's very good actually looking on the parents relationship because whatever you they didn't allow themselves it's you don't allow yourself so you're masculine so my mom for example would not acknowledge my dad so at my feminine also not acknowledging my masculine so guess mm -hmm. what I may not be able to create businesses. I may not create, you know, because masculine energy is the one, and all women have it, okay? And actually, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the biggest one. 20, 20 times stronger than men. Really? Yeah. That's wow. how powerful we are. But, you know, in the process, like years after years as a woman, we were programmed not to acknowledge that, not to acknowledge men next to us. Exactly. You know why? Why? In Europe, because man went to the war, you know, he went oh. there, he disappeared, or she didn't see him for next 10 years, you know, and then I need to rely on myself. I cannot acknowledge man because he may go on exactly. in a in few minutes and never come back. So I needed to take, be strong. So if I'm not acknowledging as a, as a woman, my masculine energy, which I have yeah. in myself, if I'm not acknowledging my man, I, trust me, you're not acknowledging yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So... Then, yeah. Then... Okay, Luis Felipe said, great to hear your story. Enjoy the lovely day. So we have, <laughs> thank you for joining us from Facebook, Luis. And he's giving you, uh, he's, he's telling that it's great to hear your story. Thank you, Luis, for that. And if you have any play, any question, if, if something you want to improve in your relationship, please feel free to write in the comments in YouTube or Facebook and we will be more than happy to answer your question now continue with the with the series of steps today yes, we are discussing so five exactly five steps to create a new life after divorce so what we have so far step number one what, what is it uh, step, step number one was so acknowledging your um, acknowledge acknowledging your a childhood love story that's okay. a childhood love story you know not the one from the book the one you just like exactly. <laughs> so that's one so remember step number one out of the five steps to create new life after divorce is uh discover from your childhood what love means to you basically right yes so yes. how you perceive love uh, from your childhood and be uh, aware of that yes yes so, very good but acknowledgement yes that's by acknowledgement okay. i mean like aware of it like this this is what i created yeah? exactly this is what i created it doesn't have to be uh, maybe it's not the right thing but this is what we created because this is what we oh, saw right exactly so step number two so take responsibility okay i took that responsibility partner. yeah and that was my decision nobody forced me okay maybe some you know you know some societies people are forced to get married okay yeah. we, and as well i would say in certain point they were chosen that way but that's more spiritual way explanation mm -hmm. okay so so they've chosen like so take responsibility yeah so what that means is i stop complaining about your partner my partner <laughs> is my partner down my partner is not good my partner is horrible I start to gather, stop gathering all your friends and then horrible things about your partner yeah, because yeah. you choose it and you choose it every day so you are responsible for it right 
So it's your responsible. You choose the person and you continue choosing this person. So stop moaning about it and exactly. do something positive exactly. about it because I you are not, responsible for yes. it. Yeah. Like recreate your, <laughs> recreate your partner. Start acknowledging him for everything. Him. <laughs> and he's going to be doing even more. You know? They, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trust me. Yeah. You acknowledge your partner. You're going to get a lot of, a lot of out of this. Oh, and the love is going to be removed. Yeah. From the house. Yeah. <laughs> Every time that your partner do the rubbish, clap at him, tell you you're amazing, you will see, you're gonna, you're gonna have a happy man at home, for sure, yeah? Oh, that's very important, <laughs> that's very important. So then, um... There's self-love. Uh, self-love, so that's right? Three, yeah, and I think the three... Very, yeah, very deep, yeah, to understand, to people to work on their self. Self-love. What that self -love. means, actually, right? Yeah, and self-love is like, if you don't love yourself, you know, how you expect partner, you know, we were just... Okay. <laughs> it's true. How, if you don't love yourself, exactly. how are you going to uh, expect to get love from somebody exactly. else, right? I said to my so, uh, all the people I coach, like girls, like, you know, buy yourself underwear. It doesn't matter if he sees or not. If anybody sees it, just you put on yourself, look in the mirror, you know, like lingerie, like all that, you know, look in the mirror before you put your clothes. <laughs> Stay there, acknowledge yourself, acknowledge how beautiful you look, how sexy you are. And that's also self-love. I oh, really like be yourself, even naked. Honestly, you know, I'm not say, like I'm saying to man, woman, just have a look at yourself and acknowledge your body, acknowledge your mind, and be aware. That's oh, me, that every time I look in the mirror, I see myself so fast. I say, Harry, you look horrible. You're getting horrible yeah, every day, more and more. Yeah, so, I've seen the gym. It's going <laughs> I got Harry, a nice Harry. gym. I got a very nice gym downstairs. Yes, that is to stay there as, as a as, as a place where I don't go. Yeah, <laughs> that's the self love. That's also yeah. self love. Yes, exactly. to go to. Okay, yeah. so in your view, if I go, I should start to go to a cinema and work a little bit on myself. Yeah. To create that self love, rather yeah. than be in the mirror and complaining yeah, about me, have a Harry, you look yourself. horrible. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I feel guilty when I'm eating uh, when I'm eating chocolate in the evening. Yeah. Oh, that could I be self-love so as well. Oh, okay. This I'm doing it. Yeah, but oh, then wow. I feel horrible. Okay. Now I, I need say, to coach you. Because, okay. <laughs> because I'm okay. eating the chocolate and I say, oh, that's amazing. But then I'm thinking, oh my god, tomorrow I'm gonna be more fun. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna well, charge you well yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, it's very important with our body, okay? Okay. If you eat something. I'm going to have actually interview on my page about the lady who actually coaching about that. If you like. What is your something. page? Can you share with them what is your page so they can see, yeah, they can follow a, you? The separation, uh, the separation coach. Uh, it's on a fan page with okay. my name and surname. You can see my surname. Google just my name and surname. Yeah, and name and so, surname is right here in the description on this video, guys. Yes. And then you find the Facebook fan page. And then um, for some of you that want to be keep learning about this topic, you can follow her in the Facebook fan page. Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, what is important actually in the self-love, even if you eat chocolate. Okay, I do. Eat with the love. Okay, this is for your body. You came here on that planet in the form you came, okay, to cherish your body. And you are, you are perfect and complete with tasting the food, the texture, the flavor, everything. This part I'm doing it. Huh? This part I'm doing. I'm enjoying the thing. Uh, but after I finish, then I feel horrible. Oh, oh my God. That because that should not be why, there. Why, That's why, why, no, no, While I'm no, eating it, no. I'm fantastic. The problem is after I finish, go to bed, before to sleep, I say, oh my God, okay. tomorrow when I go to the scale, this no, is good because I know that. I know that's gonna don't happen that. because every time that I'm doing I increase hundred and I'm seeing this. Guy. Okay, so Harry, there's the thing. The <laughs> guilt is the weight, not the chocolate. What is it? So the guilt. Ah, the guilt. Ah, oh, okay. That's how you're putting weight. Ah, okay, very good. Ah, that's interesting. Oh, okay. very good, very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's that's another I feel, one. I feel so guilty because I'm getting very fat. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly, if yeah. you eat. You eat with a pleasure. That's very good. Yeah. And then, actually, that was my spiritual friend who actually I'm um, combining, like, wherever I coach, I coach with her knowledge as well. Yeah. Uh, and she's part of uh, my team. So she said to me, I said to her, I drank only two beers. What? Why I have hangover next day? And she said to me, Edita, 
because you wanted to tr- to have that other drink. <laughs> you know, you wanted to have, uh, you know, uh, whatever she was drinking. Yeah? <laughs> and I said, come on, but I would then mix even two different alcohols. She said, exactly, because you drank, not because you wanted, because you went with your brain. You went like logical. Exactly. And that's why you've got hangover. I said, you're kidding me. <laughs> you told me that yesterday when we were having, you know, our, um, our girly night out. So that's what I'll also is like self-love, like be with actually drinking what you want to drink. Obviously, you know, you need to have your balance and everything, you know, not like being drinking. Just be present with your body. Okay, excellent. And then out of the five steps, how to create a new life <laughs> after divorce. Step number four, what is it? So ex-partner acknowledgement. Ex-partner acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. So yes. So basically I do a lot acknowledging my ex, not necessarily verbally, but I do. Do it verbally. Um, it works. And, Trust um, me. Yes. yes. Trust me, um, any, any man. Yeah. So that's actually linked to the yeah, p- uh, previous steps because what really you love yourself. You start to project love to others. Yeah. Right? And you're like, yeah, I love you as a dad of my kids. I love you as my ex partner. Um, I love you in all areas of your life. I just don't want you to be my husband. Exactly. Okay. And what it does, it allows you, like, first of all, feel acknowledged yourself Mm -hmm. uh better communication with your kids better i would say maybe it's smooth communication honestly they can feel it they can feel it they're not blind uh as well start planning your future i want my ex to have new partner i want him to be in love i want him to have everything what if you want to be your husband still oh then there's no problem you can still do it you can Uh. still do it No, because you're saying that 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 uh, you acknowledge him about this, this and that, but you're not allowing, not allowing him to be your husband. Oh, because first of all, he, he never uh, agreed to want to be again husband. Uh, I think this is something, actually, this is very valuable, actually, what you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, That's what because, I hear, yeah? Because when you really see the first point, okay, how you created your love, then you're getting clearer that actually that did well, not want. work okay and also with it's your not that you didn't and, allow him is that actually it, does no, it didn't work yeah. yeah there's no energy pulling in anymore so you just like losing up mm-hmm. and yes you might decided okay actually we can recreate and still be together but now when you have this loose space because now you're not like you know exactly why you were holding him because I was holding him because he was not present. It was not working for me. But but that's what subconsciously I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. And he was hold to that vision. And I was like holding using all the women tricks. I'm not saying that women, you know, tricking men. That was all yeah. subconscious. And yeah. we do, you know. And that's another big subject because that's how being trained, you know. Okay. So Cinderella, Nathaniel, how can one move on after divorce so, yeah. so <laughs> basically yes. this is a question for you okay we're discussing today cinderella five steps how to create a new life after divorce and we are right now um, on later step. on the step four, four and after the five step we're going to recap so you yes. you will you will be able to we will be able to answer your your questions so stay stay there okay very very good questions okay edita so Five steps to create new to create new life after divorce. What would be the fifth one? So that would be like you know, after you do all the four, now you've after got this freedom. Step. Now we've got full freedom. Like you don't have the previous marriage. You don't put this marriage into your new marriage because whereas if you don't oh. do first, <laughs> second, third, and fourth step, you're putting now your new partner is your ex partner basically. So don't do that. Don't do that. So. But how do you know what you're really looking for? That's why why you've got blank canvas. Now we're creating love. And uh, there's a fifth point where you're creating new life. You're creating everything what you want in your life. So the vision. 
And the vision, obviously, to creating, that's another, we can create, you know, another five steps or ten steps. But <laughs> you can come back do, another day and we yes, can do the yes. five oh, steps. Yeah, yeah, we can do vision, yeah, for new year your life because <laughs> it's a lot. I just explain a little bit to, to Harry, actually. It's, when you create vision around your, it's like, for me, it's removing, like, cleaning all the space around you. So you can do like when you're doing those steps, but, but it's very important creating like how I want to look my uh, love um, energy. I create my love corner in the house, which I was explaining Harry where this in his house. We're going to do some work around that. <laughs> uh, and then once you have that, uh, you can create as well. Um, so basically declutter your life. Declutter, declutter, declutter. I was explaining you on a mind level, but I also would recommend on the body level, soul level, and um, I also in, involve like um, the house also. Care. You would house, about. everything, everything. Yeah. <laughs> your contacts. Remove all your ex guys' contacts. Okay, like what? Uh -huh. Block them or whatever. I would just make clear that they just are friends. I really set up your boundaries, and then attract new energy it's like it's, it's it's about starting a new life right yeah so then then you have it's like imagine like that if you create vacuum okay so basically nothing there's not even air in the vacuum then you attract it and there's obviously a lot of to work because now you need to select what it really works so if you have like a lot of opportunity, put every, all the toys you want in your basket and then like, okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Like that's and he... then you can create what you want to do in your life. So that design, now you've got plain canvas and now you can design. But here's the question. How do you, um, how you would decide how love is going to look like for you that is actually going to work with if the only experience of love or that you had before it's what it came from childhood and what you actually look for in 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 your relationship so how are you gonna overcome that number one how you redefine love the love that actually you wanted to work for you and uh, so then then you you create that and after you start to look for the person but how you do define this love that works for you if you don't have any reference or any pattern from anywhere else that's a very good question. It's is a magic. It? It's a magic. magic. It's a magic. How we do with the with the one okay, with the so one? As I'm saying, <laughs> so, so, as I'm saying uh, I, I actually I use that slogan on my align body, mind, and soul. Align more. Okay. So, what, so work what does on all mean? The, like work on all levels. Okay. So when we create the story, we like all levels create what it means to you, and then you just like. All the opportunities everything is just clear like you've got clear vision what you want from your partner so i knew that for example um be feeling lonely does not work for me so now i know i want to be cherished i, I want to be like present i want men not to be next to me but just really be with me okay mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter how is it one hour two hours three hours but when he's with me he's with me I okay and he may be not even physically next to me, but I want him to be in communication with me. I want him to um, acknowledge, text me, check how I am. So I feel his presence. I trust guys or ladies. And, you know, that's why I work on a spiritual level, because the soul attraction, you can even feel person next to even if it's far away. So opposite. So I don't, I could have man next to me, but he was not with me. And you can create opposite way also so it's just like magical you just suddenly discover like this works this doesn't work and maybe that one and yeah encourage to start dating you know why not and then you will know what works what doesn't work how you how you how you learn other way Come on. <laughs> you know that's that's the way to to create okay that. so for you for example what was not working is um be present so now you really were that um whatever new um uh a partnership or relationship you will create for yourself a be uh that the person is present to you is really important and this yeah. is something you definitely will be yeah. looking out yeah. right yeah and it's connected like you know there's certain connection and also to that uh, who is more spiritual watching now you like women knows we attracting men 
okay we attracting more we working on ourselves we attracting the correct man Mm -hmm. You know, and more we cherish That's our so more you balance your feminine and masculine energy, you will know who your partner is. What can I say? It's just really start attracting. Plus, once you start attracting, it will be closer and closer. They are souls, they're your soul tribes. They're coming to you with a message. And every single relationship is a message. So let's tr trust, let's treat your ex as the messenger. He showed mm -hmm. you what does not work and now said like what was actually in this relationship working what was not working and once you create balance you create abundance for everything for love for money for everything because now you're balanced you've got everything yeah. inside you so you don't need a man so the the good news woman who is just going through the process you don't need men <laughs> you want men and yeah. that's a huge difference be needy <laughs> it's like <laughs> want who wants <laughs> need you know you just want and you just bold about that and like create that now another question would be and this is the five steps to create the new life after divorce right <laughs> and let's let's recap quickly the five steps to create new life after divorce okay. step number one Okay, okay, Cinderella, so yeah, Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella story, keep on yes. <laughs> Just your love story, okay? Between one and seven, we're creating a story how the life, love life looks like for us, and we constantly inquire the same quality. So if that was not after us, they didn't spend enough time with us, we're looking for a man who is not present, who is not with us, okay? So that is very important to see how the parents were treating each other and how we, we felt. It's not what they've been showing, how we felt in that moment. Okay, so that's step one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, step two? Step two is acknowledge that. Uh, I'm sorry, take responsibility. Mm -hmm. So now you're taking responsibility, what it means. My husband is that and that person because I created that when I was one to seven. And that's full stop. Like, not blaming, not frustrating. That's what you did. Or your your as a wife as well. It works both directions. It's so funny, and <laughs> and yeah, that's what you created, and that's what you have, and that's it. No blame. Peace. Step three. Self love. Okay. So remember, love yourself. Yeah. First, always first. Go to the gym. First, go to don't, the gym. Don't feel guilty if you're eating too much. <laughs> no, don't feel guilty. Definitely don't. And then step four. Uh, four is um, acknowledging your ex, acknowledging, yeah, that, you know, now you have like fully like, you know, acknowledging that that's what he created in your life. He created this uh, knowledge for you, uh, this experience, but also that he's still provided for your kids. He's still provided for you. Just acknowledge him for that. And the step number five is... Yeah, create new vision, new life, new vision. You've got plain canvas now. You know what was not working. You are not needy. You just want the per perfect or um, let's say perfect for you partner for all your life. Now we're going to ask you a few questions about something <laughs> else, which is uh, you're very charismatic speaker. You're, you're very... Uh, a, in, you're very strong in front of the camera. My question to you is, um, have you ever had the experience fear of probably speaking in front of the camera or on the stage? Oh, have you yeah. ever experienced such fright? Or yeah. this is something that um, that uh, that you 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 would never been afraid of that of that. I was afraid. You wasn't. I was afraid. So. Well, speak on front of the camera or on the stage. Everything. First day you share in Lama, what happened? Oh no! <laughs> I, I, like, in front of a lot of people. I no, seriously. I I was always out. You know. But you managed kids, to do it because I saw you, huh? Several I know. Like I've done in front of people. Yes, definitely. But when I was a kid, I would be the last one to go to any speaking. <laughs> you know, ask me like the teacher would not even choose me to do so. <laughs> um. So how you work on yourself? Uh, there was uh, there was stages, you know, like really. Um, first of all, like challenge yourself to do that. We all know that. Then you just really look at the stories from from like well, let's call it shadows. All this experience we have in the past where somebody laughed at us, you know, something happened, and just really disassemble that that was what happened. It doesn't mean anything. 
It's just like we are who we are. Okay. What do you prefer more, speaking from the camera or speaking in front of people? What is I your think favorite? You, uh, both. I'm connected. Both. You see, I, I yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm people are talking to, to you. Yeah. Louis, sorry, Louis. 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 Yeah. yeah. And so the light is in my Cinderella. face. And Cinderella, I'm I'm really like connected with you, whoever you are. That's exactly. that's the secret. That's the secret. I'm not talking to make a difference to myself or mm -hmm. looking good. I make as many mistakes as I want, and I'm allowing myself to do that mm -hmm. because my my mission is to just give you the value. I'm here to give you value. I'm standing <laughs> that whatever divorce meant to 2000 in. To all people in the history of planet Earth is transformed. I, I'm standing for that because we created, and also I didn't mention, like, you know, what we, for us, divorce, a lot of drama. This doesn't have to be. Exactly. It doesn't have to be. It's just the journey. It's such a journey, like one partner. We never said we've got one partner for whole life, but that's not the subject. <laughs> uh, but like, you know, like really, because I disassemble, like, you know, how the church, how that was created, you know, what meant mm. for humans, how, for example, because there's a lot of other stories, like, um, you know, like woman has to give away everything, in, in, including her surname for the yeah. man. And now, well, much, like yeah. Cinderella asked, very good question, how you can build after divorce? Because that's why I really recommend you, uh, Cinderella, by the way, look in a spiritual way as well. If you've got any spiritual healers, um, Tita healer or energy healer, because we also have a lot of strings attached to what marriage is. And women after married, yeah. being married, divorced woman, there's a lot of stigma, you know. After divorce, we don't have anything. We cannot do work. We cannot be public. And I know that was the past. But we still have carried this in our genes, mm. who the divorced woman is. So okay, okay. So I'm, so I'm here for you to give you um, knowledge and mm. bring ease to your relationships. So if I think about this presentation that like, it's about me, mm -hmm. it's never gonna happen. Exactly. But if I think about you, mm -hmm. uh, whoever is watching now, who's ever watching in the future, now I'm connected. Mm. I'm just giving you all my heart. I'm connected with my heart. I'm connected with my soul. I'm allowing myself to channel as well information, what may be needed. So there's not incident that Louis or Cinderella, you are here. And I know there's a few more people. Oh, a lot of people liking it, like Hamid. Just, we have a lot of likes uh, also okay, in Facebook. So so it's a lot know, going on as, you may, as we are speaking at the moment. Exactly, you may join this conversation just for one more, one minute, maybe for two minutes. But I promise you, you join in the correct moment. Some there's some information for you, and most like maybe even change. You know, divorce conversation is one conversation, but divorce is about okay, how I can make my marriage now work. Exactly. Because if there's so many divorce, now marriage forever is not the option. Plus for mm. me, like building relationship day by day, every day. So it's not like you married now and you've got wife till the end of Ooh. your life. Forget yeah. about that. Why do you think that there's some statistics are reflecting that now in these pandemic times, yeah. people have been experiencing more divorce than ever before. <laughs> and I think that people realize that they're spending more time with the partner and that was it. This it was not what people don't want. and they, Divorce yeah. rate um, uh, has increased. Yeah. So what do you what do you think that will happen? What 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 okay. is the explanation? Okay. You are an expert in the subject. <laughs> so why people are divorcing more in pandemic time? They should be happy that they are spending more time together with the partner, and uh, <laughs> and it's happened the opposite. Everybody is getting arguing and divorced with the partner. So mm. what, what they can do, what, 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 what do you think is the main reason that caused this? Mm. And how can we improve? How can we prove okay. that how much for the next pandemic? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you talk. That's a, that's you a talk. Big, okay, yeah. that's a big subject, okay? Because natural way is to say that we speed up the process, okay? Okay. We, before, like when you work, you see your partner like a couple of hours a week sometimes and then weekends. Now we have had the opportunity to see your partner in all levels in life. Yes? More so intense, right? So it's not more like twice, 
not three times it must have been like 20 times more <laughs> so if and then you, people realize oh no this is i don't want that if you survive if you survive uh, lockdown so two three hours is fine but then too much <laughs> so you survive lockdown this yeah. is a good sign yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i survived okay. lockdown yes i survived uh, guys uh, th this is many reasons actually no because a lockdown took out from us the worst of us I agree. It, 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 like really, people, you know, I had to all spiritual healing around that as well for myself, because you know I've been trapped in my house, and now everywhere is safe now. Yeah, that's what we. I'm not saying that I believe in that. I'm saying that collective. That's what we create. Beliefs, yeah, and when you create that, that touch is not safe. Hug is not safe. Be with other person might be not safe. How we create relationships like that, right? Yeah, we just relationship, and a lot of people got divided as well. You know, over beliefs what the what this pandemic is about, what's sitting at home. So scarcity. This is like you know, so scared people like uncertainty. What's gonna happen? What is next? Even and, like, even last like two weeks, it was not even petrol here in London. It was <laughs> a big nightmare, right? Yeah. 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 So <laughs> a lot of scarcity. Like people were like, all the wars will come out. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people didn't know how to deal with that. I didn't. Yeah. I have to start jogging in the morning every morning, 5 a.m. And I, I think I still was uh, I breaking am? law, yeah, because I was going there with my neighbor, and sometimes there was not two meters apart when we were jogging. Um, you know, I needed to create what I needed, but a lot of people didn't know, didn't have the tools to to relax, to come out. You to know? work on that self, exactly. exactly. You need tools to work on yourself. Uh, that's yeah. why, yeah, that's why you need coaches. What can I say? There you go. And this is the <laughs> next question. Yeah, as a coach, as a, a relationship coach, specialized in in divorce, right? And how, how to create a new life after the divorce. So how would be? How has been your coaching experience uh, through pandemic and post-pandemic times? Mm. Um, I think that uh, you had a lot of business during the pandemic, no? Very busy, yeah. Yes, Everybody getting yes, divorced, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody asking advice, right? Well, so, yeah, uh, it's it's not that. Yeah, you need uh, to like. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's going on. It's like life. Like a lot of like. Yeah, definitely, my friends, my like a lot of people around me talking about you know getting divorced or divorcing, coming with um, with those questions. But actually, the people you help, uh, your main goal is to keep them together or to make them realize that this is it, this is not working. Be happy. Be That's, happy. It yeah, doesn't matter. Happy, well, what Whatever it means. is, yeah? If they decide to say it's happy days, you know, I think on the stage, like, what I share with you, four stage, you are very clear, you know. Now you've got, like, you have a closure for your relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay? You close something. And you may decide that, okay, I want to now create from that relationship new relationship. So as a coach, for example, is if a woman come to you and said, you know, I hate my husband. I cannot have a, one more day with him. So and and they start the coaching process with you. Yeah. Could be that uh, we can actually save the relationship. And this, I hate my oh, husband. Definitely. And so maybe it could be you definitely, creating definitely. all that. Or uh, or um, maybe during the coaching process, during several sessions, um, the person will arrive to the conclusion itself that this is actually yeah. not working for yeah. them. Because at the end of the day, people don't understand as coaches that we are, as transformational coaches, as relationship coach, uh, our job um, is it's never going to be tell you what to do. Our job is to... Uh, thank you, Shia, Margaret. I'm watching, sir. Thank you. Thank you to you for watching. Yes. So, as, as duty as a coach is not tell you what to do, op totally opposite. Our, our job is to listen to, to you yeah. and to facilitate and to open a window for you to actually to discover, to allow you for you to discover what is exactly is going on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is our our job. So a lot of people said, yeah. "Well, I I I hate my husband, so I'm going to see a, a divorce coach." And maybe you're thinking that this is the right person to help me to get to get uh, out of this relationship, so finally I can divorce my husband. And maybe what you will realize is in these coaching sessions, uh, it's actually 
that your husband is amazing and maybe it's you who's creating all this uh, noise because something happened to you in the childhood something happened uh, yeah. you have a previous experience or um, so to be both ways so remember when you're going to see a divorce coach like Edita right you go with two hands yes <laughs> it's not like oh I'm gonna hide this curse because she's gonna help me to get rid of this idiot because maybe well, you <laughs> maybe know, you will discover well, maybe yeah. you will discover that this is the truth or maybe you will discover that that, that maybe it's you creating all this and it's actually everything's on your head right so the most important thing I think Edita what you as a coach as an amazing coach an amazing very speaker charismatic speaker I think that we want to see you speaking on a stage around the world talking about this subject that you definitely yeah. know a lot about it yeah you have yeah. experienced yourself and now my question to you the last one is why um uh, do you feel any level of fulfillment when you can help people either it goes either way even they keep the relationship or you manage to save the relationship or or you manage at least to bring clarity and people can actually uh, set free and be happy oh, yeah, it's give you definitely. i think this is a huge uh, f- f- yeah. fulfillment and more than mon- money yeah uh it's it's like you know when the person's had this like a lightning moment like oh this is what that that's what was holding me back or when they had this breakthrough yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is you know okay marriage is one relationship but this is this is like any like i promise you if this does not work in your marriage it doesn't work in all your relationships it's yeah, just showing like, up everywhere right yeah so coaching is not about fixing one thing it's like it's like domino you fix one and it's like boom, it just goes in all areas of your life exactly so you know that's why i'm so passionate because if your relation works and you've got safe and great environment to feel at home like you know, you, you can you, I definitely you transform can create, your life. Yeah, yeah, in any area, finances. Guys, if you have like, if you fight with your man, it means you fight with your masculine energy. I promise you that. And there's a big lesson there. Like once I start like making my peace with my masculine energy, as I said, discover that my whole, my, um, uh, like my dad, my granddad, they were extremely successful in business. And I'm like, oh my God, so I've got this in me. I've it's already in there, me. yeah? So, and I didn't, I couldn't hear that before. I never heard these stories before. So that's actually empower you just think, okay, maybe that I am entrepreneur. Maybe I am that too, like, and then you can see money coming in. Honestly, from, from the angles, like, yeah, like, like, you know, from your ex, from yourself, from other things. It's just like you acknowledge those money because if you're resisting, it doesn't just, come to you yeah doesn't come mm-hmm. and so that's what i'm passionate about you know coaching and i love what and for me the most important are kids i know i've got two kids uh two amazing girls and when you work on yourself kids are so resonating with that so you ask me about public it, yeah. speaking yeah. yeah do you want to hear the story yeah of course of course go on <laughs> so work on public speaking i <laughs> promise you yeah <laughs> yeah with, with, with him yeah <laughs> so with uh with harry um guys my daughter okay they are big fans of youtube all of that they they can learn moves on really? the camera they do it it's just my ex doesn't allow to be that yeah. but my brother the... doesn't allow us so the kid to be yeah. in the camera and my daughter was recording for the, like by uh, public tv wow uh, really ago. yes she was wow. chosen uh it was it's not gonna go live i don't think because of the changes in tv but she was chosen from many schools and that school wow. and she from that school and she loves cameras she wants to be an actress <laughs> and oh I she's could... gonna love our interview right uh, and, and she will watch every minute of it I so think. <laughs> what i'm saying is if you learn that as a mom as a dad you're altering future of your ki- of your children and I'm, I'm i'm really serious of that because the way i was and i can see my daughters and it's a difference because all the one obviously she didn't experience me uh so um self-confidence than actually younger one and it's different the younger one they both love it but the younger one she can dance she can go public <laughs> anywhere and everybody yeah. all the teachers saying that she's so much fun to be around she's so sharp making wow. answers and she's funny they're not answers like this they have 
very logical, very sharp, very wow. direct, and she can do this within seconds. I'm like, where this came from? <laughs> so yes, uh, public speaking for parents is highly recommended. That's very this. interesting uh, because uh, I think that whatever you experience for yourself in uh, in in your childhood that you thought that that could be a uh, 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 and a stopper for you to develop as a human being, as an entrepreneur, uh, as a coach, is now you are creating a framework for the kids. So I think oh, that yeah. the kids, the kids see the mom. I think they see you. They have been seeing you speaking in public. They have been seeing you in front of the camera. So now they 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 have a different view. They think yeah. that it's okay. It's actually fine. I, actually, I don't think they, they, they are proud of you me. to see you in the camera. Oh, really? I don't think even, th you know. <laughs> Why don't they see like, you? <laughs> you're gonna they be, just yeah. feel your energy. This is like yeah. more, this is energy. And that's something what I really want to tell you as well. That's how I coach as well. Um, couples or people getting divorced mm -hmm. or having separation. Kids will tell you. What well, kids arguing, that's your internal state arguing with your ex. The Where project, exactly. The they, project. Yeah, they, 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 they can feel it. Yeah, they can. I don't know. It's like energy. It's like magic. Uh, like I don't know. It's one experience. My daughter said, "Mommy, you don't spend enough time with us, like uh -huh. daddy." Obviously, me like, <laughs> and I'm ready to explode. Yeah, but then okay, where I did not acknowledge my mom. Mm -hmm. And that was like. That was like, okay, guys, that's why it's so important, um, you know, uh, the self-development, because it's like split second. One direction you're going with upset, it's like automatic. How dare you tell me I'm not spending enough time with you and be upset or stop, so like, it is relax. Missing. And what I'm doing, and then I'm I not acknowledging my mom. I know she showed me love with uh, doing shopping with me cooking for me my mom is big on cooking she loves cooking she complains legs hurting she's got headache and she's still cooking well she's waiting for acknowledgement as well exactly <laughs> and but you know i never acknowledged her for that and exactly. i said and i said to my daughter you know you're right i never acknowledged my mom that she was spending cooking serving me food giving me for breakfast years. for years i never acknowledged that and she said to me, and you know, at that moment, when I acknowledged it to her, I acknowledged later to, with my mom, she stopped being upset. And they said actually saying thank you to me for, for serving them uh, food, breakfast or dinner. Yeah. Honestly, this is so big. This is so yeah. big. So if you, that's why I'm repeating to people, like, you may take divorce. You still did not separate. Do you think that a lot of people say that when they had kids, right? that um to, talking about relationship like you know i have my kids now i don't have time for my parents and um do you think that the kids can project that or do you think that the the more you you heal the relationship with your parents the better uh, would be your relationship with your oh, kids oh yeah parents are very but all yeah. that re requires time all these all these yeah. process yeah, yeah 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 so one of the processes that's the the first point you know acknowledging that past because that's all your relationship with your parents and they're gonna show up show up i've seen this woman like saying to me you know i'm a, i heard myself like my life is not balanced when i go to work my daughter is pulling my dress like mommy mommy i want more time with you and i'm like how is your relationship with your mom? Straight away I ask, and she's like, no, my relationship is fine. I sort this out, everything. <laughs> um, Definitely no, something is not working. No, with I mean, like, okay, I get that you work hard. There's still something not completed. There's no closure. And she then starts saying like, you know, I, I did this, I did that. I said like, did you say to your mom that you love your mom? Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, it was the same. I've got a great relationship. I just didn't notice that, you know, all my life I was like projecting my mom not uh, liking certain behavior in my dad. Mm. And guess what? I found my dad. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like what you're resisting is going to show up till you actually acknowledge, OK, my mom's got rights to think like this about men or about herself or about you. And then stop resisting, like, okay, mom, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing my life like I'm choosing. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Acknowledge that she, she may not choose, because this is very important as well when you're getting divorced, like having this uh, conversation with your parents. 
um, because they may also feel like a failure. You know, you you may feel like a failure. Your parents are gonna so we here guys uh-huh. in this year just stop it. Like take coaches, take self development on yourself, and just like stop it. Stop everything what people from the past brought into that civilization, and just start creating new. Yeah. And then, so what would be the future as 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 a growing your coaching business as a motivational speaker, as an influencer? Uh, what what is your big vision? Your big mission? What do you really want uh, to do? How many people do you want to help? Any any dream uh, as say, a career? Yeah, I would say well, like two thousand. Let's say two thousand. Maybe ten thousand. Uh, new families models like new families Ooh, models that's yeah. very good okay so we're gonna make 10,000 <laughs> families more happy right <laughs> and those getting an added every single month and then another 10,000 another 10,000 another 10,000 so give it or take 100,000 right yes so yes. we're creating that they're gonna be in London or all over the world uh, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere 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 there you go so Edita is in the path now <laughs> to make 100,000 families more happy increase the relationship and um, make sure to uh, set them free either way. If yeah. it's even uh, doing the five step to create a new life after divorce, or maybe uh, to heal the relationship and the partners by self discovering, by working on themselves, they can uh, achieve happiness again, which is this, what is, is all about being the relationship. Life is too short to for you uh, to be question it just yeah. uh, because uh, it was something in the way and uh, and and we didn't choose uh, the right person for us right that doesn't mean that we encourage you to divorce what we mean is that we are encouraging you to find a coach like Edita and to work on yourself because you could be <laughs> uh, the the main reason why the relationship is deteriorated uh, or you could be the channel that take the decision that um, because you love each other, it's better to keep loving yourself as a parent of, of your children, but no as a couple. And this is something mm-hmm. that we all have to discover together. Right? So thank you so much for being here. Thank this you. interview has been pleasure, amazing. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much every single one of you for being watching the five step how to create a new life after divorce and i'm looking forward to see you in our next program